In this week's episode of Working with Todoist, I'm going to show you a small but actually a very large new feature in the mobile application. Hello and welcome to episode 153 of my Working With Todoist series. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to share with you a new feature that I discovered in Todoist that is a feature that I've been wanting Todoist to do for a very long time and that is the ability to have individual start screens on all my individual devices. Now what I mean by start screen is when you open Todoist it's the screen that Todoist will open up at. Now by default this is set to today view and for the most part that's probably the view that you actually want to see. You want to see all the tasks that are due today. But what the problem I've always had is the view that I have on my desktop is exactly the same view that I have on my phone and on my tablet because they are synchronized across all my devices and this has not always been very good. My desktop for example in the window that I have for Todoist quite comfortably shows 15 to 20 tasks but on my mobile phone even though I'm actually using an iPhone 10 or for those of you who haven't quite figured it out yet an iPhone X um, I have to scroll through to look at all my tasks and that can feel quite overwhelming at 7.30 in the morning. Not the best way to start the day. But the good news is that with the last update to Todoist, particularly on the mobile device, you now have the ability to set customized start screens for all your devices that don't sync across all the devices. So, for example, I can start off on my desktop with my favorite uh, dashboard view which shows my inbox, my today list and my waiting for which is way too long to, to show on a mobile device and I can set my mobile device to my today's focus view which I've covered in a recent video maybe two or three weeks ago and I'll put a link to that in the show notes below so that you can see what I mean by that. This means that when I look at my mobile phone open up Todoist it shows me just six to eight tasks definitely not overwhelming and a, low, a fantastic view to see at 7.30 in the morning knowing that I have eight really important tasks to get done that day. As and when the day goes through I can move into different views but, for the, but as far as I'm concerned those tasks on my focus view, today's focus, are the most important tasks. Anyway I'm trying to explain this without showing you so I'm going to take you straight into Todoist but before I do that if you like this video please click on the like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe. Okay let's get into Todoist on my mobile phone and I'll show you what I mean. Okay so here we have uh, my actual uh, iPhone 10 or iPhone X uh, screen. So I'm going to go into Todoist and open up my Todoist. Now uh, I have, as you can see, it's just opened up in what's called today's focus. Now I'm recording this on a Saturday and I am very happy to announce that today's focus only has one task in it and that's because it's Saturday. Um, but let's go back and uh, we have, so this is normally the, the basic screen and this actually mirrors my desktop. Uh, so I have my today's objective saved in favorites, my today's focus and next actions. And this essentially is the way my workflow on a daily basis would work. So I would start in today's objectives, see what two things I have to do today and then move into my today's focus. But I'm only looking at that on a daily, uh, my today's objectives, probably for about 30 seconds in the morning. My main focus is going to be on today's focus and I don't really want to have to do that. When Every time I open up to do it, I just want to see today's focus. So how do we change that? Well, all we have to do is go into the gear icon up at the top, uh, top right hand side, click on the gear icon and it says settings. And you go into your general and you'll see at the top now, start page 
and start page sync. Well, I'll come to start page sync in a moment. So you can set your start page essentially by clicking on, sorry, I'll go back, click on the, uh, as you can see, my start page is set up for today's focus. And for those of you wondering, why do I have exclamation marks either side of today's focus? That's because that's the, the text syntax that you use to bold the actual heading. So I bolded today's focus. So if I just go back to my, um, you can see that not very well on the actual iPhone, but it is bolded and you can see that much more on the actual desktop. But I'm going to go back into my settings, click on the gear icon, go into general and right at the very top, you've got the start page. Click on that and you can choose pretty much anything you want. So I've chosen my filters, today's objectives, today's focus, today's routines, but I could also equally choose a label. So if you have a label set up called mobile, um, then you can set that up. For example, I have one here called iPhone. I could actually use that as my start page in Todoist if I wished. Or you could, sorry, go back, or you could actually, I don't want next actions, <laughs> I want to do my filters, uh, or you could actually set up uh, a project. So you can click on projects and you've got all your projects in there if you wish, so you can actually set that up. So you can choose pretty much anything you want, inbox today, next seven days, projects, labels, or filters. The key here is, is that for a mobile device, you really want to be choosing a list that's going to keep you focused in on what's really important for that particular day. You don't want to be choosing a list that's got hundreds of tasks in it because it's just going to become very, very overwhelming. So just to give you the quick review of that, so what we do is uh, we go into the settings, which is the gear icon on the top right hand corner of your phone. You then click on general, which will take you into the general settings. And from there, you can choose your start page by clicking on the start page. And then you can choose whatever one you want. And in my case, today's focus is the one that I want on my phone. Now, what does start sync start page do? Well, if you click on sync start page, sync start page, that's going to sync across all your devices, your desktop, your laptop, your tablet and your phone. And that's not necessarily the view that you want on each device. So this is why I have this turned off. But if you want to have the same sync start, the same start page on all your devices, then turn that on and all your devices will sync across whatever start page you've chosen. OK, thank you very much for watching this episode. If you have any questions at all about this, please leave a message in the comment section below. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw and you want to take your productivity to the next level, I'd just like to let you know that I have just recently launched a new online course called Your Digital Life 2.0 Online. Now this course is based on the book that I published last year, Your Digital Life 2.0, and it is a fully comprehensive course designed to help you to build your very own productivity system and it will take you through it step by step by step, the tools, what you need to set it up, how you need to set it up and it's really going to help you. I'm going to be updating this course on a regular basis, maybe once or twice a month I'm going to be adding extra lessons that can really help you to focus in on what's important to you. But not only do you get access to this course, but you also get free access to my Achieve Your Goals course and Supercharge Your Email Productivity course. This is a fully comprehensive course and you also get a free copy of Your Digital Life 2.0. This is tremendous value and I really think you should take advantage of this now. And it's only $39.99. If you've already bought the book, you can get the course 50% off, that's $19.99. And if you're already enrolled in my Supercharge Your Productivity course, also you can get 50% off at $19.99. So come on in and get yourself enrolled in this course. The full details are at my website, www.calpoline.com. I would love to see you there so that I can really help you to get yourself building your very own personal productivity system and a system that works for you. Thanks very much for watching this video. See you next time.